What's up guys welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial we're gonna learn about one of the most important concepts in object oriented programming that's inheritance. So inheritance allows us to define one class in terms of another class or in other words inheritance allows us to use the features defined in one class in another class. So it's nothing but you know when we create a class instead of writing completely new data members and member functions we're gonna inherit the members and the member functions from another class. So let's get started. So here in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna build a class called person first. So it's gonna be class person okay we're gonna have the access specify as public and as a parameter we're gonna have name it's gonna be a string type and then we're gonna have age you know which is gonna be of integer type and then we're gonna have two methods you know to initialize these two values so let's call it as void set name and it's gonna take one parameter it's gonna be string name and we're gonna let me call it as i name and we're gonna store the value in our name so it's gonna be name equal to i name all right now i'm gonna copy this and paste it in the next line and uh, this function is gonna take the age or the set the age so it's gonna be i age int i age and it's gonna store the age so i age all right now we have a class person you know which has a name and age as our members and set name and set age as a member functions so let's say in our program we need to create a class for student and also we know that a student has a name age and some student specific properties so we have two options what we can do is we can write the class student with all these properties or we can write a class student with the specific student properties and inherit all these features if we go for the second method at that time we're gonna write the less code or we're gonna reuse the code and also it's very easy to manage the program so here inheritance is nothing but accessing or using the features or the members or member functions of one class in another class all right now we're gonna build the class student and inherit the features of this person in that class student that's because a student is also a person all right now the class definition of this student so it's gonna be class then the class name which is student and then to inherit the features or the members or the member functions of one class we need to use the colon single colon and then we need to specify the access specifier you know which is public private or protected in this case i'm gonna write public and then the class from which we are inheriting the members and the member functions so here in this case it's going to be person all right so when C++ sees this code, it comes to know that, okay, we're going to have a class called student, which is going to inherit all the non-private members and member functions of this class person, non-private members. And, uh, you know, all the members and member function are going to act as public members of this class student. So if it is confusing, don't worry, you know, you know, it's going to be clear, you know, when we learn all the things about inheritance all right now just remember that you know if you want to inherit a class in your program we need to use a colon and then the access specifier and then the class name from which we are inheriting okay now in this class student let's write the access specifier first let's say public and then we're gonna have a member let's call it as id you know it's gonna be student id and then let's write a method to set this id so it's gonna be void set id and it's gonna take one parameter so it's gonna be um, input id iid don't get confused with that and we're gonna store 
that value in our id so it's going to be id equal to i id you know we are just writing a method which allows us to set two values for this member id so, all right now let's say in our student we have another method called introduce so void introduce and this method is not going to take any parameters and it's going to use all the members of this class student now you know when we do this inheritance here you know this name and age are also available in this class student that's why i'm gonna say hi i am and then the name i'm gonna refer to the name and we can refer to the name member which is a member of this class person in student just like the way we were referring to it in this class person so it's gonna be name here and then I'm gonna say and I am then I'm gonna insert the age and again I'm gonna say years old and then uh, let's end this line and again we're gonna say and my student ID is let's refer to ID all right now we have a method in class student you know which is gonna use all the members of this class students and also the members of this class person okay now in our main function we're gonna create an object of this class student to do that uh, i'm gonna write student the class name and then the object name let's say anil and then we're gonna set the name anil dot now you know the set name method is a member function of this class person and since the student is inheriting from this class person it has access to this member function set name so here i'm going to refer that using an object of this class student so it's going to be anil dot set name and i'm going to pass anil and again it's going to be anil dot set age you know which is also a method of the class person and i'm gonna set a value of 24 and then i'm gonna write anil dot set id you know now this id is a member of this class student itself so we can refer that and let's say id 12345 all right let's uh, semicolon now we have initialized to all the properties the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna call this introduce so anil dot introduce okay now what we have done here is we have written a class which is gonna contain the basic features and then we have inherited that basic features in another class and uh, we have created the object and uh, you know we have called all the member functions so i'm gonna build and run this now hi i am anil and i'm 24 years old and my student id is 12345 all right now the class from which we are inheriting is called as a base class and the class which inherits another class is called subclass here in this example this class person is a base class and this class student is the subclass so a subclass inherits from a base class so this inheritance is one of the most important feature available in object-oriented programming and it allows us to define a class in terms of another class and uh, a class whose feature are gonna be inherited in another class is called as the base class and the class which inherits or uses the feature of another class is called as a subclass and to specify to the c++ that our class is inheriting from another class we need to use the colon and then the access specifier and then the name of the class from which we want to inherit so this is it guys this is about introduction to the inheritance in c thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe like my facebook page and stay updated with my latest video tutorials and i'll see you in the next tutorial